Hello everyone. So in this episode uh, uh, of the Shooter Project, we are going to add two more improvements to the AI fighting AI uh, system uh, for the AI character. So uh, first one is if the if two enemy two enemy AI characters uh, touch or collide with each other while in a fight, even if they even if the two characters haven't seen the other character let's say they will be coming from behind or like have been with they collide with each other so even, even if they don't see them i'm gonna uh, implement a touch sensing system where the collided character is registered as a perceived actor and if it is an enemy character till uh, the other character will start shooting at him and also uh, i'm gonna add another thing where if a character got a bullet hit from another character and even if that character haven't seen this uh, he haven't seen the shooter who shot him uh, he will turn to him and register him as a enemy character so those are the two things two improvements i am going to add into this AI fighting AI combat system. So here is a demonstration. So they shoot each other and they go run into covers, try to flank, engage in combat basically. Right, let's see how to do those things today. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support uh, so one problem we have in this AI fighting AI uh, system is uh, like when the, the the enemy character is detected through the site and even if they collide with another enemy character uh, while they are engaging with already in game with engaging with a different enemy they will keep shooting that enemy they will discard whoever the enemy that are closer to them so let me see, let's see if we can demonstrate that they are not getting closer Came close, when I came closer, let's see if we can see a scenario, example scenario. See now here, this guy is the closest, but this guy is still not trying to shoot him. He is locked look into this enemy and now he is shooting this guy. So yeah, so that's the basic problem I have so what I am going to do is I'm going to implement uh, touch sensing for touch perception for the AI uh, but I try to make this uh, AI touch config to work but it seems that it's not working with blueprints uh, that's what I found out in the uh, Forum. that's what I saw in a forum so as an alternative for that uh, let's implement let's go to the base character let's uh, implement a collision based system where when uh, another pawn is uh, collided with this character it will notify the AI controller so that AI controller decide whether it is a enemy character or it should change the locked actor or anything so right so in here in the ALS base character I'll add a cube sorry not a cube collider we just need a collider I think cube collide. Oh, sorry, again I added cube. Mm. 
box collision right this should work and i'll make it a bit larger say three by no need to lock so if another enemy come within this area this guy will know uh, but here we might need to modify this when we are working with stealth kills like going behind a character and doing a takedown something like that we may have to modify this but for now i don't have such a system so it's fine and as for the collision settings i'll go to custom and ignore everything and make it overlap with pawn so when it overlap with pawn with any other pawn so we need to inform the ai controller of this character that another character is overlapping so to notify that through this clm ai controller i'll add a function on touch As an input, I'll add a actor. What's your preference? First actor. Right. Now, on touch and as the touched actor give a reference to this actor right now in the AI controller we have to implement that function on touch implement event on touch so same as uh, when we see another character I'm gonna use the same part first I'm gonna do a check uh, to see if it is an enemy or not if that is the case we can update this these variables in a similar way but if to, in order to do that I can reuse the same part uh, so what I can do is let's convert this part to a macro I use him just to represent macro. Condition. So now we can use this same macro on touch. And I'll pass through. But here we do have a problem because when we see an enemy through the sight perception and if the line of sight is broken, uh, we can clear up the target enemy. But if the enemy is seen through the touch system uh, this clear value part does not happen so keep that in mind for now and let's test if this is working but it would be easier for me to test if I just let me delete these characters temporarily Uh, no, 
here let me disable both sight and hearing now they don't see but we can see if the touch system is working if they look at me if I collide with them yeah it is working Yeah, the system is working. So let me re enable the site. Uh, this time let's test with the AI character, right? But it's really hard to demonstrate that issue where they are not focusing on the touch detector and focusing on someone else and another thing i want to is <coughs> like uh, this character is shooting this character but this character is uh, trying to now he's trying to shoot the him but sometimes uh, they are not shooting at the character they are currently uh, getting shot from so this guy is shooting this straight character This is a real mess, can't really, can't really find this, uh, show this, so that means the system is working pretty well. Right, now there, here is a collision happen, happening, uh, but it's still now he should be focusing on this character yeah he is okay so to improve like to make sure that target actor is the currently uh, is the actor is the whoever the enemy currently shooting at the player to implement that uh, let's add another function uh, no actually we don't need to have another function but uh, let's go to the gun P gun and we call the hit using this on bullet This interface function that I have implemented through CLM BPI damage. So here I'll add an additional parameter shoot the guy who shot who made the shot. Mm, just an actor reference should be fine. And we need to pass this. Here as the shooter, I'm gonna pass this. We already have a reference to the character who is holding the gun at the moment, so we can pass that value. Okay, uh, now we added the implement on bullet hit. Yeah. Oh no. Right here on the it. 
Oh no, this is a custom event. Right here. So this is the damaging part. But here also I can get controller and call on touch. So by doing this now even though uh, the enemy AI character can't see the character who is shooting at him this will make uh, the AI character instantly detect the enemy who is shooting at them oh did I get in some mirror yeah Let's test now. So um, I will keep uh, add further improvements to the system. So I'm going to stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.